to be honest, I thought we'd done with the videos on CB servicing on a shoestring. And you remember I did deviation using a boat anchor of a test instrument that I bought for £10 off eBay. But I've been casually on the lookout for a CB type deviation meter. And hopefully this lot has arrived. Aha! There we are. A Jason deviation meter. And also, I think there's a ordinary SWR meter in here as well. I'm on Mr. Chippy's bench while he's not here. A Jason matcher and SWR meter. Right, well, we'll put that to one side because we're not interested in that. But we are interested in this. So coming out of the back, we have a power lead because obviously it has to have a FM receiver inside it for it to do deviation. Um, I'm not expecting it to work. And I think the two together were about £18 plus the post um, off eBay. So um, that's fine. Now I've got a CB radio here, which is a CRTS Mini, and I've just tested this on the proper test equipment, so we know that works. Before we do anything further, I'm going to open this up and make sure there's actually something inside the box. Right, we've got to stage now when I can tell you about it. It's uh, finished. I've done some alignment because the radio we knew was set up properly. So I've aligned it using the radio. 
So there's a lot in this box, and I'm glad that um, Dave sent me this uh, instruction leaflet. So first of all, you've got the SWR. Now, of course, we're using it with a dummy load, and so of course the SWR is more or less perfect. So switch your radio on. We're on UK channel 20. So if we set calibrate, key up. I'll just switch that to there. Um, and of course we can adjust the meter with the S calibrate control to the set position and then switch to switch to SWR and it's just under 1.1, 1 1.05 to 1 which is of course what you'd expect with a, a dummy load. And then on the power setting we can read power and we've got a dummy load. It doesn't say this in the leaflet but you always have to have a dummy load. You can't read power when it's going into an aerial because unless it's a perfect match which they never are it's not going to give true power. So it's as true as it's going to be, and it says that we're doing just a fraction above 4 watts there. It's on the 10 watt scale. You've got a 1 watt scale, a 10 watt scale, and for ham radio users you've got a 100 watt scale. So we know that's working right, so that's good. It's also got this matcher. So if we've got an aerial which was uh, not matched, uh, to protect the radio we can use the matcher. And how that works switch the matcher in, we'll go to SWR calibrate and adjust to set and on the SWR scale you then adjust the load and tune until you get the lowest possible SWR. There we are, look I've got 1.1 which is of course what the dummy load is. So that's the matcher and that works, so we can switch that off and that's back to normal again. Well, I should have said, and then you recheck, uh, you calibrate, which is still the same. So you always go and double check. This has also got an AM modulation meter. And to use that, and I can't demonstrate it because I haven't got AM, you would key up and you would set with the right hand knob to the calibrate set position to the extreme right and then with a tone the either whistling or using a tone generator like we do you would read off the modulation which you'd expect to be between 70 and 99 percent on an am radio but of course the jewel in the crown with this meter and the whole point about it is it does deviation and i've retuned the receiver within this and it's now working properly which it wasn't before and you will see Wallow, and I'm calling myself a liar, it was working perfectly. I think we've got a dirty switch in there which just needs a bit of cleaning. That was uh, embarrassing. So, as you can see, I set this so that the maximum deviation is Wallow is 2.5, and you can see that the 2 is there and the 3 is there, so we are doing exactly as it should be. So that is now a working deviation meter. And we'll just open it back up and put some switch cleaner in that though before we button it up for good. So you can see I've changed both the meter lamps. I, only one was faulty, I know, but you don't want them to be, if they're slightly different uh, current consumption, you don't want the meters to be lit up at different levels. Um, they're only glue gunned into position. Um, there's nothing clever about it. So there you are, we've got the GSIN SWR38 now fully restored and it really adds to the um, alignment on a budget because you need a deviation meter and it's another one to kind of put under your belt it was alright doing the boat anchor one but um, yeah I know it was only a tenner and it was cheap and all that but it's a huge piece of equipment whereas this is intended for CB and if I switch this radio to um, CPT because it's an 80 channel set we're now on CPT channel 20. I'm still getting the same. Now some of these more expensive meters are crystal controlled and they work on specific channels like 120 and 40 on UK, 120 and 40 on EU and you'll switch them accordingly. But this is a much cheaper and rougher kind of thing but it works and that's what it's all about. 
So I hope you found that interesting. An eBay Jason SWR38 now fully working and we've read the deviation on it. Thank you for watching.